All right, I'm going to go over the theme short codes. So uh, let's go and just create a page and um, add a new one and call this one uh, short codes examples. So uh, short codes are basically anything that's on that page styles. I'm going to actually open that up to show you. Um, so under pages, uh, all these lists and buttons and tabs can all be done with short codes and not having to to write any code. So, first thing to note is uh, this list right here of, of buttons. If you just hover over them for a second, they'll actually tell you what they are. And these are all short codes to help you out. So let's go ahead and start with the first one, a button. So there's two types of buttons, um, a light and a dark. Let's go ahead and just start out with the light one, or I'll make both actually, a light one and a dark button. So I'll say dark here and light here. And then you type in your link. So if you wanted like uh, Google.com, you can do that. I'm gonna go ahead and publish this, and we'll see how it looks. So we have our light button, our dark button, super easy. Next thing is these uh, two checklists. So we have checklist and an arrow list. I'm just gonna add them both. Um, if you want to add more items, you can just click enter and add them in. This is all basic. Uh, these lists are pretty easy as far as WordPress goes. They're pretty much built in. We're just adding a bit of styling to them. So if we refresh our page now, we have our two different lists that you see. Pretty cool. Um, now that's the first three. Um, then we have some column short codes. And uh, I'll skip those and get, come to those at the end. Next thing I want to go over is the divider. Is the last one, this line, just adds a divider. Let's actually delete everything I've done so far. So divider, and then we can add our tabs pane. And let's go and just show those first. You'll see that dotted line up there in tabs. So it's pretty easy. We just have these two tabs and some code or some text underneath them. And if you want to add more tabs, just select this and add another tab within the tab group. Same thing with our next one, which is a slider. All you're going to do is type in your image URL for each of these. I have an example in our documentation. And you can add or remove if you want to have more or less slides for the slider. All right, the best or the thing you're probably going to use the most is the column short codes. And those are right here half, third, two thirds, quarter, and three fourths. So let's say you want two half columns, I'll type in half. Uh, under the text in the middle, half and half. And the one thing to note is on the last column you need to change this no to a yes. So let's update that and show you how it shows up. You have two half columns, super easy. So for quarter columns, we add four. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually type in the quarter for all these. And as I mentioned before, the last column gets a yes. One fourth last equals yes. And that just fixes any of the alignment issues and makes sure that they land. So we got four quarters. Let's go ahead and do a one third and a two third. So the, the set last one gets a yes. And then I'll go ahead and just type in the text so you can see them on the video. So we refresh and we have a one third and a two third column. And these will work on the full width page or the sidebar column, all the same. And you can type as much content in them as you want. Um, you know, I just have text, but you can add images, other short codes. You know, anything you want can go inside these column short codes. Super easy. Uh, just play around with these buttons. You don't have to remember any of them, really. You can just use the buttons, and uh, they'll give you the short code for you.